Hello Haseo, I'm Lee and welcome back to my channel Lee Loves You, the fitness and lifestyle channel of an American woman living in South Korea. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe and hit the alarms so you don't miss any amazing fitness and lifestyle content. I've got uploads every Tuesday and Friday for you. Today I'm here to talk to you about hiking in Korea in general and hiking in Sejong at Obong San in Jochuan specifically. So if you're like me, you come from kind of a flat place. Like my parents live in Texas and I swear the land is flat as a table, flat as a pancake. Any other metaphor you want to use, it's there's not a lot of mountainous ranges. Uh, so when I first came to Korea, I was absolutely shocked. I had heard the country was 65% mountains, but it didn't prepare me for all of the beautiful uh, scenery and all the beautiful vistas. So hiking culture in Korea is very big. You're gonna wanna try hiking as much as you can. There are many huge mountains in Korea. You've got the big three, Halasan in Jeju, Soraksan in Gangwondo, and Jirisan. Uh, and these are all fairly challenging, I would say. But luckily for those of us living in the Sejong area, there are a lot of smaller mountains that are very enjoyable hikes to go on with friends. And Obongsan is one of these mountains. So Obongsan is in the Jochuan area in Jandongmyeon and Janimyeon and it has an elevation of only 262 meters. But keep in mind that that's not straight up. There's a long winding path, there's some stairs, and it's very pleasant to go along with friends. So Obong San, the name is very simple. San in Korean means mountain, and Bong is peak, and O means five. So Obong San is five summit mountain or five peak mountain. And there are multiple mountains with this name in South Korea, as you might guess. And one thing I really love about Obongsan is the scenery. There are pines and oak and maple and chestnut trees. And I think my favorite time to go would be the fall when we recorded this. I went with my beautiful, beautiful friend Liz and we just had an excellent time walking and talking along the path. And another good thing about Obongsan is it's just the right amount of challenging, I would say. It's good exercise, but you can still have a fun time with your friends. Hiking equipment is kind of a big thing in Korea. I would recommend if you're going to be going on at least a hike every month, you might want to go ahead and invest in some proper hiking boots and hiking sticks. They are very helpful. But for Obongsan, you won't need either. Just a solid shoe and a stickless uh, travel is just fine. How to get to Obongsan? There is plenty of parking. It's a little bit inconvenient by bus, I would say. So if you don't have a car, you might want to bus to the nearest area and consider a taxi. Be sure you budget a little time for a small picnic dinner. One of the nicest things about hiking culture in Korea is taking the time to eat with friends. I have never experienced this, but one thing some friends said is that when they go hiking with Korean friends, there is always cucumbers. Like someone brings cucumbers, not even sliced cucumbers, like entire cucumbers, and you just kind of like eat the whole thing. So tell me, have you experienced that? Also, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you click the like button. Uh, another nice thing about Obongsan is there's a barefoot walking path before you go up. You can take your shoes off and walk on these lovely pressurized rocks and just get a good foot massage before you go on up. The basic hiking course to Obongsan to the top, most people would say it takes about an hour to get to the top at a good pace and another hour down, but I feel like it took about two hours for me and Liz to get to the top because we weren't worried about time and we were pausing to take film and take pictures and just enjoy each other's company. So Obongsan is an excellent place to go hiking if you're in the Sejong area. And Sejong has many other beautiful small mountains that just make for a good time with friends. You could go to Wonsusan or Jeonwarsan in Dodamdong. So if you're out Jochuan Way, why not make a day of it? You could hike Obongsan in the morning, have a little snack or some lunch up there. And in the afternoon, you could go visit Jochuan Traditional Market, which is one of my favorite places. So I hope you're enjoying your time in Sejong and that you've enjoyed this little introduction to Obongsan. Goodbye, Gaseo. I love you.